From the El Pubco studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching an OU Update with Jason Kersey. I'm Jenny Carlson. Jason, a year ago this time, we were all talking about Trey Matwire, the big wide receiver coming in, a uh, young guy at Oklahoma. Now we're talking about him in terms of, is he going to just be a flash in the pan, a flash in the spring pan? What's your thinking on this? Is he a guy that can rebound after a tough year a year ago? Oh, I, I think he's definitely a guy that can rebound. I still think he's got a lot of talent. Um, he's a guy who... You know, last spring obviously came in, really impressed a lot of people, uh, really was a very highly anticipated season for him, and it just didn't work out. You know, for, for starters, they had Justin Brown and, and Jalen Saunders come in and become immediately eligible. Uh, that didn't help. And then uh, also he just didn't quite come along as quickly as they thought he would, and that happens sometimes. Um, I still think he's incredibly talented, uh, and with another season, he could really, I mean, next season he, he might start. How big is this spring for him? I mean, we saw how great he played a year ago, but is this a big spring for him, especially with new quarterbacks? I think it's important that he establishes some rapport with the new quarterback, sure. Uh, but I think uh, most important is going to be what happens in the fall, uh, through fall camp and then through the first couple games. Um, if he can come out and have a couple of good games, um, he could really, uh, you know, progress forward. But um, that was a problem last year. You know, the opener at UTEP, I don't, I think he may have had one catch. Um, had always had trouble f finding where the boundary was. He couldn't stay in bounds. Um, but I think those are things that will will get better for him. All right. Thanks, Jason. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.